Good morning, friends. We are here back for round two, our Friday edition of the Doll Shop Show, aka Doll TV. We are going to go and check in with Linda and see what she's got going on over there. And we're going to see her glue down a little bit of the wig on the PD doll that you saw a lot about yesterday. So, hey, Paul. Hi. Yeah, the Grand Vizier of the Shadows, I think one of his Maureen said yesterday. So that was really nice. So anyway, we have a lot going on, which we're gonna show you today. The glue that Linda is going to be using today to glue the wig down, we have little one ounce bottle samples available in the virtual doll convention gift shop. So you can get the exact glue from us that we are using. It is wonderful glue that we get from the Doll Artisan Guild. It's called Great Glue. So go ahead and there's a link in the video already. Somebody else asked me yesterday about my necklace, and it is rose gold. It's a bar pendant necklace that is in the virtual convention gift shop, too. It was one of the very first things that we added in there, and I still love it, and I wear it almost every day. So if you're here with us, good morning. Hey, Carrie. Hey, Pat. Hey, Kim. Okay, let's go over and see what's going on in our busy little shop. So the gang's all here today. We have... Hello, hello, hello. Stephanie is working on restringing a Shirley that we got in, but here's what we got going on. So, Linda, you did a good job, my friend, restringing this beautiful PD. Yes. She, she was a bit of a, she was a bit of, she was a little bit harder than usual. She's, she was a challenge, but she has, oh, well, I won. You won. You won, won the challenge. I won the challenge. I'm going over so you guys can see the appropriate body that would be on a doll like this. Isn't this just divine? I love, 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 love seeing this doll. So what are we going to be doing today with the wig situation? Well, let me, let me, my comfort zone is here. So I know that. So this is, Linda, first tell us about this great glue. Well, it was introduced at the Doll Artisan Guild and the last convention, and I thought, oh, I want to try it. We'll see. Mm -hmm. And I brought it home, and I thought, okay, I love the little t tip because it's very easy to handle. And I used to always use toothpicks. Mm -hmm. But this one. So you just go I'm right just, up in there. I want to make sure it's working. Yeah. Now, why are we gluing it down? Well, I could condition this, but just the moisture and the glue will soften that, and it will stabilize the skin. And if you can stabilize the skin against something, it's not brittle, and it will probably last longer. I.e., if you have a brittle skin, it will bust. It's just like a dry piece of paper. Now, skin wigs are glued down, everybody. They're they different are. from other wigs that are not glued down. Let's see. Let's see can if we you can, can get can... the lights a little. Let's Where, see if we can get the where's light. Where's Paul? We need him. There we go. So what we're doing right now is just using, and how much are you using? Not very much. Just Look, a little bit. I didn't unplug it. All right, Paul, hold, just hold that just like that. There we go. So just a little, little bit. And just I'm going to hold down. it down. Yes, because we took up some of this when we were cleaning the face yesterday. We took, we cleaned a lot of it. And she's just gluing it a little bit. But this glue is really fabulous. Linda, what are the other things that you use this glue for? Oh, to stabilize fabric when it's starting to melt. Because it doesn't leak through. Because you just use it a little dab. I've done that. Would the glue work for straw hat making too? I would say so, but I haven't tried it, so okay. I can't. I, it works as good as grip, if not better. Mm -hmm. So, and I use grip on the straw hats. So, And you like it also because of the wonderful applicator. I do. And you can get big bottles and, then and refill. refill them. So it's worth it just to purchase the sample, the one ounce sample, just to get the applicator bottle. And then you can just refill it. Mm -hmm. And you just use a little bit so you don't, you know, but you can refill it. And I have bought a refill bottle. That's at home. Okay, right there. Okay. 
We're just doing a little bit. Do you guys see? There we go. So just a little bit. There we go. I'm gonna hold it down. And do you find this glue uh, dries pretty quickly? Yes. It does. Hey, everybody that's tuning in. So you guys can refer to yesterday's videos, which are on my Facebook page, on the Turn of the Century Facebook page, and on YouTube to see how we cleaned this wonderful PD. We cleaned her face, and, and, and we got it off a lot of the glue scraps that were kind of on her bisque. So now we're just lightly gluing down the skin wig so it doesn't peel up when you're looking at her because we peeled it up a little bit while we were cleaning. And I'm just separating the matted hair a little bit. This is her wonderful original kid skin wig, which is from See, that's like 1880. Okay, right there. So you're just doing it a little bit in the places that need just a little that bit of reinforcement. It. If I didn't do that, if you accidentally hit it, it would bust. That's what's happened here. Mm-hmm. So it's important to do that. Now, for those of you that are just tuning in, we have these wonderful samples that include that, that are just like this in the virtual convention gift shop for $4. And it's worth it just to get this little applicator bottle, and then you can refill it. Okay, see, this is really coming. Let's see if we can get it. Paul, move, move. No, this, this is what we need. Yeah. Just hold it just like that. Linda, did you wash or do anything to the wig beyond separating no. out the fibers? No, I did not. It's not dirty. It really isn't dirty. No, it looks clean to me. And you can feel the difference. It's clean. It's not like some of our wigs that we get in that are just gritty. Right. Okay. okay. With this skin, this skin wig right here was really brittle, so we're going to have to hold this a little longer called patience it's not 30 second glue it's not 30 second glue and you don't want to use <laughs> don't use the epoxy or anything on it please yeah the, the great thing about this great glue is We're that it, you can also get up it's not like permanent don't use permanent epoxy please please there it's come it's gonna be fine you're gonna have to hold it for a bit yes and i might have to go back because really what it's doing is softening that leather and going in. Pat Dutchman wants to know, can you wash a dirty skin wig? Oh, yeah. It's just like washing a lamb. You can, um, but you'd have to, I would probably do it in little teeny sections. Mm -hmm. And I wouldn't take it off the doll. If, I, if it was off the doll, you could put it. If it's damp, you definitely put it back on the doll so when it shrinks, mm -hmm. it would shrink to the head. So for those that are just tuning in, everybody, we are just gluing down, lightly gluing down some of the parts of this wonderful kid skin, original kid skin wig that is on this beautiful PD doll okay, that we see. have. Right here is the stitching where they stitch the two hides together. If you can see it. Can you see the seam? Yes. So are you going to repair that or how? No, I'm just going to glue it. Because every time you go into a dry hide, it just busts. Mm -hmm. Elizabeth Christensen says, I've used dry shampoo. That's awesome. I never would have thought of that. And dry shampoo is one of my favorite things to use on my own hair. Oh. So that's good. Thank mm -hmm. you for the tip. I wanted to make this available to you guys just so you can get it, try it out, and then you can order more also from the Doll Artisan Guild, but this little applicator is just wonderful, and then you can just refill it. It's great glue, and we have a link to purchase a one-ounce sample for only $4 right in this video. Earl, a lot of people make reproduction kid skin wigs. A lot of people do. Right, Linda? Yep. Yeah, a lot of people. It's just a matter of Googling and kind of looking and just and seeing what kind you like, but you can definitely you can definitely get those kind of wigs from a number of people. And there's different techniques to make them, too. Mm-hmm. I mean, not every technique is foolproof. I personally love kid skin wigs. I do, too. It's one of my favorite kind of wigs on a doll. 
and probably because they're just so okay. they're usually found See, this early, early early this weight. one's sticking mm -hmm. but this one's still lifting so so it's just a matter of just holding it down mm -hmm. and just letting it dry so sometimes it takes longer than others it does just like anything else with patience Hey, Lucy. Hey, everybody that's tuning in. We are gluing down, lightly gluing down and, and getting the, the kid skin wig because we just did a lot of cleaning on the head of this PD doll yesterday. Got off a lot of the original glue residue and we are using this new glue that we want to tell you guys about. It's called Great Glue and we first found out about it from the Doll Artisan Guild and they have sold me some wonderful little one ounce bottles that are on the virtual convention website so you guys can give it a shot too. So the best thing about it is this little applicator so you don't have to use a toothpick. You can just go right in with the glue and then you can refill this bottle. So there's a link to it right in the website, right in the video. So that looks a lot better, just kind of fluffing that out. Just fluffing, separating it. It's just like if you have a little poodle, you know how when you have to fluff their hair out? Mm -hmm. It's the same process, but definitely do not use like a toothpick. Use something metal. Straight pin, hat pin. I know all about poodle hair. Yeah, they mat and they get these little kinks in them. Uh, yeah. So you can see how much. No, uh, it looks so much fluffier. She's starting to look like Murray. Uh, yeah, and you, the the good thing is we can spritz this after it's fluffed, and it will start taking little curls. What do you spritz it with? Just water. Okay. And it's a light spritz. It's not a big. But this natural fiber, these hairs, they'll they'll go back to curl. That's the beauty of this kind of a wig. Okay. Becky, we used to use toothpicks, but it's just it's just easier to just uh, app, uh, apply it straight from the bottle, but you can definitely use a toothpick. We just like to just apply it like that. Anything that's easier. <laughs> it's, yeah, it's just easier, um, more efficient for us, but you can definitely buy a larger bottle, and that's what we did. Up until we we found out about these little applicator bottles, we did it with a toothpick, so <laughs> nothing wrong with that. This there. is looking really good. Look how fluffy and good this is looking. Yes, it's going to take time, but it will make all the difference in the world. In it this makes stuff. all the difference to go to the clip and curl, doesn't it? It does. For our hair, for us, for our dolls, and for our poodles. So mm -hmm. we got a lot of questions, Linda. So why not, um, let's give Stephanie. Stephanie, would you mind taking our little PD and holding down her little wig so that we can talk about this bonnet we got going on here? So our there, there she goes. Okay. Just hold it right there. Thank mm -hmm. you. So... We got a lot of questions, Linda, about the wonderful job that you did on the bonnet for our beautiful, sweet Hilda. Well, how did you fluff this bonnet? Remember, it really didn't look that great. I mean, it, it was okay, but all I did was press it. Nothing like steam and press. And when I pressed it, I pressed the ba band here, and then I went ahead and pressed as much as I could of the flowers and the rosettes but then to get them look older not brand new I just steamed it and then I then there was a um you know we have these little critters called flies there was fly specks here where they had left their little droppings and I took a damp cloth with some of our cleaner and just dabbed it and it doesn't disappear all of a sudden you'll still have a little bit of a, a spot but it takes a lot of it away and I think so when you guys are dealing with a lot of old dolls and old fabrics don't let that alarm you a lot of times you will find old droppings and things like that and you can totally clean it and just get rid of it it's not a big deal and then I replaced I only had one hair tie. Mm -hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, that made a big difference. So here's the old hair tie, and the I, one that was on this side. Yeah, and I couldn't find any China silk to match it. So I just went to the next thing and bought, got old ribbon. Mm-hmm. Replaced it because it was fairly close in color. And this, I don't know whether you can... Yeah, we I, can hear it. I put that with tissue because if it didn't... It would, it would be all... It would just hang down. Such a big difference. So, you guys put tissue up in your bonnets like that. I love the look. Love the look. So, when you say you steamed the flowers, that's the only part that's confusing me. Did, did they get wet or... No. It's... it's my hands handle heat a bit probably than... But if you just hold it the way you want it and then go with your your iron away from it... It will just give it enough steam that it will set the fabric. Okay. Just like if you were trying to take a wrinkle out of your fabric, it's the same thing when you pour, pour such steam in. But that's all I did. Okay. It's called just a little tender loving care. A little tender loving care. It's amazing, though, because the bonnet is something we might have just not even used and then... And then just working with it. Yeah, just working with it, giving it a chance. It's fabulous. So this doll is listed online. We posted a link on uh, Turn of the Century. I'll post it in the comments too. But it's a fabulous size 20 Hilda. And so if you guys have a Hilda, post it in the comments. Would love to see it and chat about it and see yours. I'm amazed knowing how hard it is to do tucks. But this is in China silk. Amazing. And look at those little tucks. And then the French knots. And this is um, heavier cording that they've used. It's for the feather stitch. It's so fabulous. Pat Dutchman wanted to know if we did anything with the wig. Pat, we didn't. The wig was fabulous, and so we just... We just left it as is. I thought about maybe we should trim the bangs a little bit, but... I don't think so. We're just oh. going to leave. It's all original. So the, the original wig. The so. only t thing we did was like pull out a hair that's hanging loose. Mm -hmm. That's it. Okay. Love it. So you guys are with me right now. And what I would love to do is you guys can help me choose the next one that we work on. My four are barking back at Murray. So you guys are just going to. Oh, Stephanie, you look so cute holding that PD. <laughs> She's getting ready for her new grandbaby. You, you have a new grandbaby coming? Oh, you go, girl. That's so exciting. Congratulations. Oh, so sweet. So uh, we're going to go over, and I want to show you guys real quick. You guys can hear Mar Murray barking, but I want to show you guys his new cradle. <laughs> Hi, Mur. Look at his new cradle. Do you like your new cradle, honey? Honey, honey, honey. You want out of the cradle? I, I don't, I, I, when I'm, he only does this when I'm filming because otherwise he loves to just be near me, but I'm not going to let him out right now because he's so little and I don't want him to get underfoot or get out. So what's the next one we're going to work on? I don't know. I think we might work on a big old honk and brew we have on the other side. She's a really big, wonderful one, but uh, we have some other options here. So we might work on this little googly too. But I hope that that was um, helpful in just showing you guys a little of the fluffing and things that we did. Oh, yes. Thank you, Paul. Get our lights on so we can see what we're doing. Our little murmur is so wonderful. When looking at this one right here, this is a pretty shimmel. We could work on this one. We also have... Um, let us, let me know what your questions are too. Cause we, we have a lot of different things that we can work on and show you guys. So we will be back with our next project and I hope you enjoyed learning about great glue and seeing all about that and seeing what we're up to over here. So she's looking good. And if I get any, um, like pullouts, mm -hmm. I will go back in and just put a dab of glue and put it back in on the. To fill in the hole. Oh, it's looking so great. But I'm not going to throw it. And we do any. have a wonderful bonnet, too. Oh, yes, we do. Oh, yes. 
and I've already looked, we do not have a ostrich feather that color. So it's sort of shabby. It might disappear. And I thought, well, we could put cream in there, but we have no other cream. We could put cream. That's right a, there. Yeah, that's no, a cream it. feather would be fabulous. And we, it would look nice. Yeah. And I'm going to have to press this bow to camouflage right there. Where that has gotten old and separated. Mursky's having a cow over there. We're going to... Linda, this looks great. So we're going to show you guys the after, and then we're going to get this doll in the mail to her new home. And it's been such a delight to be able to share this with you and to give you guys all of these tips and tricks so you can use them in your own practice and with your own dolls and stuff like that. So the feathers are so much fun. I so agree with you. So while I have you guys... Murray Lynn... Wants a new Murray Lynn. He's just, he's always like that when it, when, when I'm not nearby. So, uh, stay with me guys. Cause I'm going to show you one of the brews we're going to maybe work on. I think would be super fun. Check it out. We just also got this really cute, really cute, uh, child size, but it's doll size for us rocking chair i think that is absolutely adorable don't you guys and then i know you guys have been missing your sweet little treasty treasty poo poo she's just the cutest little thing actually she's a big one she's a big mama jama so ah here she is this is the one i think we were going to work on i think we'll work on next check it out this is a big one That'll be fun. Yes. All right. We will be back, guys. And I hope you enjoyed this. And we will be uh, posting some more fun things in the virtual convention gift shop that we got today. We got a lot of wonderful miniatures and fun things like that. So stay tuned and see you soon.